In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can easily recreate this beautiful look that Tiana Paris wore at the Screen Actors Guild Awards 2013. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Vaughn, and for today's look, we're going to start with blow-dried hair. And actually, if the hair is stretched in any way, the style will still work. I'm going to start with two straight parts to section off the crown. Once I have the area sectioned off, I want to clip it down very securely. Next, I'm going to section off the middle part of my hair, pulling from the temples. It doesn't have to be perfect. Here, I'm just eyeballing it. Once I'm done, I'm going to clip this part down as well. The back is actually where we're going to start. Firstly, I'm going to apply the Exotique Buttercream Hydrator as my moisturizer. Next, I'm going to section the hair into two parts to detangle. Because I want the edges to be really smooth and sleek, I'm going to add some of the Creme de la Mode Edge Control product. Using a bristle brush, I'm going to smooth down my edges. With an ouchless band, I'm going to put the hair in a ponytail. For best results, the ponytail should be nice and tight. The next step is the middle section. We're going to follow the same steps as before by moisturizing first, followed by detangling. Here I'm adding more of the Creme de la Mode Edge Control product. It's very important that these edges are very smooth and laid down. For a little added insurance, I recommend using a little gel. This section will also go into a very sturdy ponytail. And lastly, we deal with the crown. I would also recommend adding some of the Creme de la Mode product to the front of the crown as well. Next, I'm going to detangle the hair. I'm going to be combing it straight up. Next, twist the hair, leaving the roots very loose. Choose a side that suits you and then pin your twist down. Be sure to take extra precautions to hide your bobby pins for this style. The crown is probably the most important part of this style, so I do recommend pinning it until it's flawless. Once you're satisfied with the shape, it's time to move on. Next, I'm going to layer on the Creme Jelly Styler to all the remaining hair. Break the hair into two sections and twist each of them separately. Remember to twist the hair very loose at the root and very tight at the end. This is how you're going to achieve that puffy yet tamed look. Be sure to use a product with hold, like the Creme Jelly Styler, so that the hair won't move once pinned in place. Once you're ready, take one of the twists, roll it under, and pin it down. The other twist will be folded upward and tucked into the crown piece. If you're strategic, then you won't be able to tell where the twists begin or end. So take your time on this part. We're going to repeat the steps for this last ponytail. Once the hair is nice and fluffy, we're going to pin one twist under and the other upward. Now this pinning method is recommended for medium hair lengths. If your hair is longer, you may need more bobby pins. Now that we've got red carpet ready hair, let's go ahead and finish the look. So here is the finished look. And did I mention that this fierce updo is also a protective style? 
A sophisticated updo that's both sturdy and full without the use of extensions. A look that is ideal for transistors and fully naturals with medium lengths. For that shiny red carpet finish, don't forget to add the Total Perfection Argan Oil to your edges. And to achieve this style, all I used was the Entwine Couture product line. And that's it! So to finish off this celebrity look, I opted for this long purple gown with stud and sequin detail. And even if you're not going to be on the red carpet anytime soon, you can still wear this look to a wedding or a really nice party. Or you can choose to rock it as a really casual look. Whatever you choose, have fun and love your hair. And if you want to try the Entwine products, use this code to save $5. Today's tutorial was brought to you by EntwineCouture.com. 